going to wash some windows, man. And it's raining. And it's December. I mean, you'd tell me if I looked like a hobo, right? Washing windows in the rain? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Oh, huh. well, I'll tell you, the rain is not too bad because the fact that it's raining means that it's not cold enough to be snowing, so I'll take it. What do you think? Is it about time to retire this shirt? I think this shirt might be older than some of my friends. <laughs> oh! Oh, speaking of, I was just listening to this siren outside, and I realized that it's 15 years old now. It's almost 16 years old. I can't accept that. What? And this hat, too. I think this hat's about as old as the shirt. Oh, boy. We're all about the 90s up in here today. Oh, wait, actually... What have I got on under this? <laughs> okay, this shirt's even older. This is straight up 80s. And I will wear my vintage clothes until I absolutely cannot anymore. <sighs> Camera's making me look green. <laughs> I got these moisturizing gloves where you put on moisturizer and then you put on these gloves and you sleep in them and it keeps the moisturizer from like rubbing off on your sheets and stuff and locks it in so that it absorbs into your hands and <laughs> like I look like a stage magician or Mickey Mouse or something it's it's ridiculous that <laughs> I put them on and immediately laugh I've been listening to some good music, Bad, by Michael Jackson, the whole album, not just the song. By the way, if you ever wanted to know what my favorite Michael Jackson song is, it's Dirty Diana, and it's on that album. I also listened to Depeche Mode, Violator, also a very good album. Oh yeah, the last thing that I listened to that I had to replay a couple of times because... It was so good, and I forgot how good it was because it's been years since I listened to it. Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell <laughs> 2. <laughs> I feel like such a dweeb wearing these gloves. I, I mean, I remembered that Bad Out of Hell was really good, and I've actually listened to it a lot more recently. But I thought, you know, I haven't listened to Bad Out of Hell 2 in a really long time. It's like I discovered it all over again. It's so epic and so amazing. While I was listening to that, I was thinking, no wonder there are so many years between Meatloaf albums because each album is so epic. It's exhausting just listening to it in a good way. It's just such a huge production. I can only imagine what it's like making each album. It, it's gotta be insane. And I completely understand why he would need years off in between each one. I'll tell you another funny thing, because I'm wearing these gloves and um, I can't use my fingers to touch the screen to um, operate it because I record on my phone. I used my nose to touch. It works. All right, good night.